Hello, this is John, and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the MyMail email newsletter plugin for WordPress, which we use with a lot of our customers. Now, most of the settings we actually set up for our customers. Uh, if you have to set them up for yourself, they are quite easy. Um, who you're sending your emails from, their email address, replies to address, uh, default template. Uh, there's one template that comes with the MyMail system. We've purchased a second one, and there are many others available, or you can make your own. When you have newsletters, you can share in various ways. So you can add to the list here the ones you want to share. You may wish to keep IP addresses of subscribers or add some custom fields to your own. As far as sign-up forms are concerned, you can create multiple sign-up forms. Each sign-up form has its own ID, set whether or not they're going to collect the name or the email address. You determine which group that form is going to go into. You can change the text, as you see, for each part of the form. And you can even send them somewhere after the form has been created. All the little message text can be changed to suit the style of your site. There is a great big range of tags as well which are used in custom forms and you can change the content that's used in those tags as well. Um, I didn't why why we wanted this but actually it's quite good uh, you can limit number of emails which if you've got a server that's or a service is going to limit you can reduce the number of emails that can go out of the system so you don't overload your server and get into trouble you also set up your server with um, a simple uh, WordPress connection which I would prefer no one to have to use. You can set up direct communication with your SMT server, SMTP server um, and you can also send out via a Gmail account but be aware that if you do a lot of spamming Gmail will be just as hard on you as your email provider. The cron is for the automated um, sending of data and collection of data you can set the capabilities so different members of your staff using WordPress can only have access to certain parts of the system. We can enable bouncing. What bouncing is giving an email address so that when the email newsletter is sent out to an email address that does not exist and the server responds with a does not exist error, it is sent to the bounce email address, which means the system can automatically update your email list for you. When you've got a lot of users this is very important especially when they keep disappearing on you. There's nothing more frustrating than sending out 100 emails and having 30 of them fail and then not changing the settings so next time those 30 fail again. You can set up SPF and DKIM domain keys uh, authentication very useful and very recommended this is only a test server so it's not set up for um, but it's very useful. Google Analytics is an additional add-on to the MyMail system but it allows you to get Google Analytics appearing on your newsletters data as well. I have not put purchase code in here because this is a demonstration system. Um, I do like uh, plugins that do a check for you, tell you if everything works. Very useful when you're looking for faults. So that's a quick that's a quick overview of the settings. You see there's quite a few there but they're not that difficult to understand. Let's have a look at a campaign that's gone already and then we'll do one ourselves. So you see this campaign is gone, it's been finished, sent out to 10 people which is in my little database. Five of them opened it, in other words they viewed the images. None of them clicked through, none of them got bored and unsubscribed and they were all valid email addresses nobody bounced. So this is how you set a campaign.
That's the bit you've been waiting for, of course. So we put a title in. That is the title for our use. This is the subject of the email. Pre-header is very useful for email marketing. Increase the chance of emails getting there. From name should be something more sensible, really. Um, our from reply to emails are the same because we've only got uh, a certain number of accounts set up. And we'll continue down here. This is our template, so this is where our email is going. Now, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I do like this. Basically, if we want to change something, we click on the character. And this is our template. So our template at the moment is providing a heading and content. And then we've got underneath all the share buttons, which if you're not using them, you just turn them off and they don't appear. So we want to change the text. Okay, and that's there. And we'll change the content. This is a content box. So um, okay, and supposing we want to add more. Well, if we want to add more, we can add a module. And now, these are all the different modules we can have. These are different layouts. So I can have a half floating image left, which is like that. I can go into here and I can add the text. Okay. Okay, and we can play around with font styles and underlines and centers and everything. Okay. Always add a more tag, which is um, very neat because it means whoops, missed it. We can change it to a different uh, image if you want to. Actually, I was more interested in changing that. Oh, yes, sorry. So we can create insertions that goes straight back into our website. Okay. I want to get this right now. Missed. That's it. So I can now change that image. And I think I've got something in the media library. No, I haven't. Okay, let's just get something. Okay. If we don't want something, we can just delete it. Sorry. If you want to get yes, you want to delete it. So remove element and it goes. It uses that. Uh, that is actually an image. That one. And that is text. Okay, and if we want to add another section, we can add another section and we can go on and on and on until we're happy. Once we're happy with that, we want to see what it looks like. So, 
what we need to do is to come up here and we have two things here we have a spam score which is a jolly useful little algorithm for telling you if you've got ridiculously um, spam uh, looking emails and we can also send a test to ourselves as well so let's send a test or test server guess what we're called test.com so let's send a test all right and that email's on its way to the inbox so let's go and collect it from there okay so I uh, paused the video just a second there so I could get the emails up so here's our mail enabled email client in fact we'll double click and we'll get a full size picture so this is the test email sent to us so we can see what it looks like okay that's quite neat can also get a spam score all right which fails that's not so good oh yes it probably will do because um, it can't get out from our server God. now uh, we need to choose who it's going to go to I'm going to send it to our test group that's 10 people we can choose whether we want to embed the images or get them referred to. We've got uh, color schemes here, which will make quite a different change. To this is like changing a star sheet, really. You see how it changes the color scheme. We could even put a background in if you wanted one. Something like that. Okay. And then if you want to, we can to test ourselves again there it is and our new version of our email So if we're all ready to go, we go back to the top here and we use the delivery section here. So we can do send this campaign on and we can choose the date and time or we can send it straight away. And once we're happy with when we're going to have it sent, we just say going to be sent now you see so we can now go save okay and here we are in the system campaign published we can view it currently progressing there it's all set to go there it is so I'm just going to pause the video and give it a chance to send these emails out and collect them back and we'll see how that goes Okay, well the emails have gone out and um, we've got some results as well. Well, that's quite easy because they've all been sent into one account which I can see. They've all been sent into that test account and we get redirected into there. I've clicked on some of them to preview them and that's good enough to say they've been opened because I've, I've, I've read them on here. So we have uh, 10 people have been re recipients of our newsletter six have opened none have clicked through yet nobody's unsubscribed nobody's bounced I want to see the details we can see here are the people and there's the results Let's see some have read and some haven't and we can see the email there so there we are and if we go back to all campaigns see the results of our labors and over in the dashboard there's a little widget in the dashboard as well which tells us we're two campaigns still got 10 subscribers and there they are so that's the sending out emails you can also set up autoresponders though an autoresponder works exactly the same So an autoresponder allows you to send information out to people after they've done something. So we can have send this responder so many 
minutes, hours to days after the user has done something. So user signed up to test group. And then you'd change that to a sort of welcome message. Then you could set another robot responder up, say, after seven days, saying, Have you seen some details? This allows you, autoresponders are basically uh, a way of sending information to people on a timed basis so that you don't have to keep doing it yourself. So you, if you get a user signing up to some sort of service or signing up to your newsletter, you can then send them one seven days saying, uh, hope you're enjoying the newsletter, have you got any feedback for us, uh, is there anything you particularly want to learn about, etc, etc. So it's, it's a way of sending marketing messages without having to type them all um, every time yourself. But as far as the content's concerned, you use exactly the same editor to do it. So they're very neat. And a lot of the marketing gurus rely on them a great deal. Otherwise, that's all there really is to say about the uh, newsletter system. If you want to import and export, you can just type them in there uh, to import them or copy and paste them from somewhere else. Uh, as a CSV, if you want to send them out somewhere else, you can send them as a CSV. Pending uh, people are those that have tried to subscribe and haven't confirmed themselves yet, so they're only pending. Otherwise, um, that's all I have for this presentation. Thanks very much for your time.